Hi there, welcome to another little short video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. We're looking now at this, it's the collar nightline pegs. So something that we've uh, been looking for for a few years and this is a reproduction that we've made from one of the originals uh, that we found. Um, quite poor condition, you can see some corrosion and everything there, but we've managed to, to replicate that uh, and try and you know, produce a factory correct example. You can see the black paint on the inside here of these, um, uh, of the, well, I don't know what to call them really, uh, of the, of the uh, milled out pieces, the drilled out pieces there. Now what we've done is made that from a similar stock there, aluminium, and uh, you can see here we've got some of the, whether it's casting marks or brazing marks, quite possibly that this was made in two parts uh, and then brazed together. Uh, and then this is all uh, ground off there. Look, you can see that. Uh, but what we've done is we've made it out of a single piece of stock. So uh, what we think the manufacturing process was, was to drill uh, these holes in the whole piece and then cut down the center of them so if this was made in one piece by having the hole drilled and then both ends sort of turned round so the flats are on each other and then brazed together we've made this uh, alongside another piece or I think we had some excess on each end uh, so that we could drill through and then cut the holes so we've tried to replicate it in the right way we've then painted it up white and we've you know, paint, painted in, inlaid those these uh, lines in black. Now, how is it w used? Well, the nightline pegs, um, you know, these these white metal uh, stakes uh, come in a, in a in a long bag uh, that you may have seen. The bags are actually quite common. The stakes and then the the collars are not. So it would be the the, the hole in the collar fits through that. They'll sit in here and they'll sit below. Uh, they enable the platoon commander or the section commander to go ahead in the Second World War, this is, and set out the gun position without having to take the guns with them. So this then lines up with the crosses that are actually down inside the Mark IV tripod. If you take the cross head off and you look down through the body of the tripod, you'll see these uh, can line up quite nicely. And this is put on the ground in the way that you'd want it. So the, the, the way you'd want the gun to be facing, the pointing, and then the parallel to it as well. And that peg would be kept there to keep uh, to, to stop it in place, uh, keep it in place. And the longer peg, I uh, can't show here, not gonna zoom out, but the longer peg would then be placed out in front of the gun uh, to give you the zero lines as well. So the gun, the gun position can be manned at night. Now we are considering, um, here's the sales pitch, we are considering reproducing these if people would like them. Uh, yeah, we, we've got the original to copy. We've now got a good pattern there that we've spent some time doing. Uh, do get in touch. Ask us for a quote. Not really sure how much they're going to be because it depends on metal prices at the time. Um, ask us for a quote and we'll see what we can do for you if you need one of these to complete your Second World War Vickers machine gun equipment. So hopefully that's been of interest. We will put we're hoping to do the training uh, machine gun training scheme uh, to camera. Uh, at some point this year uh, once all the restrictions are lifted and we'll show how to use these in the field uh, with some fire in Vickers MGs as well but in the meantime hopefully that's been of interest to you and another sort of seldom seen item of Vickers MG equipment. Thank you for watching please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future I look forward to hearing from you.